every time I think I'm gonna run out of content for Star Stable, something happens and I just get pulled right back in. Anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. A few days ago, a Reddit post was made explaining how someone had brought back the 2017 version of Star Stable on TikTok, and how they had reverse engineered it to be playable, and how you too could get your hands on it, and how you could play it. And the Reddit post reads, 2017 SSO is actually back question mark someone actually did it and they had gone on to say how a user on tiktok shared a video of them playing the 2017 version of star stable they have videos proving it's real apparently and at first they didn't believe it their page apparently has the instructions on how to download it the person making the reddit post had tried and apparently it worked it has the cat loading screen, which I'm sure people are very familiar with, with Star Stable. Um, all the quests, apparently, and it's an exact copy of 2017's SSO. When asked how they did it, somebody said that they reverse engineered it, and now people can play the early 2017 SSO in private servers. And yes, it has multiplayer on a private server. It's a scam. I will go over everything you need to know in this video, but first and foremost, this is a scam. Do not hunt down the Discord if it's even up and running still. I don't know. Don't download the game. And in the future, just report things like this. Okay? Quick disclaimer, I am not tech savvy in any way. Everything I do know is knowledge that I've had to gather myself like a little hermit. And I also do my due diligence and fact check things like websites and sketchy sources and software before using it or even getting on it. And I request that you do the same. I did make a community post a few days ago saying how this is a scam and illegal, but allow me to further explain. <laughs> One argument I have seen thrown around is it's exactly like Alicia online, and Alicia gets flagged with false positive virus warnings all the time. And yes, you are correct. Recently, Alicia online has had false positives going up and down and all around. And Alicia online is also reverse engineered like better SSO projects and gets flagged all the time. But the game has a better standing with the community and have actively fixed and tried to fix the launching issues and try to give us a safe alternative to launching the game properly for the, what, almost 10 years that that game has existed. And in the beginning, they weren't outright asking players to turn off their antivirus like Better Star Stable is. Alicia Online is technically illegal. Kind of. It's kind of in a gray area. But allegedly, Alex, the developer behind the new version of Alicia Online, had reached out to the original owners at Natrieve and asked if he could work on it. And he was told as long as he didn't make money, he could. Not to mention the original developers, Natrieve, who owned the copyrights, were bought out for like 79 million back in 2012. The copyrights of Alicia are kind of up in the air, <laughs> sort of. Unlike Star Stable, the owners and copyright holders of Star Stable is Star Stable Entertainment. And yeah, they may be having financial issues, but they still own the copyright to Star Stable's IP. Unlike Alicia Online, Alex keeps the Alicia Online server up and running out of his own pocket. That's why there is only one, because keeping up multiple servers for a game is pricey. The person behind Better Star Stable is asking for money right off the bat to keep the server up and running through Star Coins and Star Rider. It is illegal for them to do this. They do not own the copyright, and they are directly cutting into Star Stable Entertainment's profits which is something you should never want to do to a company. I don't know about the ins and outs of Swedish copyright law and copyright infringement law, but copyright infringement is one hell of a thing to be sued for. And if the player isn't a Swedish resident and thinks they cannot be sued across the water, I implore you to look up international laws and how it may or may not affect you because I assure you those are a thing and people do get sued abroad and from outside other countries. You aren't untouchable. Now onto the more serious side of things, the alleged malware slash spyware. Again, I know nothing about technicalities. Um, everything here is claims from others. I have seen warning other people about not downloading it and the number of reasons why across 
Multiple tests, the software for Better Star Stable has been flagged for malware and spyware. And for the normal people who might not know what those words mean, malware is a software that is specifically designed to disrupt, damage, or gain unauthorized access to a computer system. Spyware is a software that enables a user to obtain, convert information about another's computer's activity by transmitting data covertly from their hard drive. Those alone should be enough of a warning and a threat to deter anyone from wanting to download this. But another red flag is the fact that they are asking you to buy Star Coins and Star Rider through PayPal with the family and friends option. This is so they can't refund you and the money you gave them. You would have to fight with PayPal for a refund. And trust me, PayPal has better things to do than care about you. Because the family and friends option is more so seen as a gift than a business transaction. This is why people like artists will use other options and alternatives so that it is seen as a business transaction and not a gift. That's why they try to avoid the family and friends stuff. Okay? So, they are allegedly stealing your information, and if you think, well, I don't have anything important on my computer, I'll be fine. Apparently not, because what I've gathered how these things work, if your device is connected to the same internet as others, it can just steal information on other devices that are attached to your same internet. For example, apparently, if I'm wrong, please correct me, but for example, I get all my more important stuff on my phone. My bank account, my YouTube AdSense revenue stuff, I check that all on my phone. Everything on my computer is just my video game stuff and my uh, login for my DeviantArt and Discord and all that other stuff, right? Well, because my phone is still attached to the same Wi-Fi, they could still snatch my bank account <laughs> if I did download this. And on top of that, my mom's bank account, my brother's bank account, and all their information is also on the same internet. So they could just snatch all that up. So that's three separate people's information that they have now gathered. Had I downloaded this software, all right? That makes sense. You get it? You might think you're safe, but now your family isn't. Now, to address the person behind this project's uh, statement on Discord, I do apologize that it is a bit blurry. I have no idea why it's blurry, but I did find this on Reddit. I started the Better SSO project just for the fun of making it. Programming and reverse engineering is my biggest passion, and working on this was truly amazing. How else could this ever been done? Making it public has certainly made a lot of people happy in the first couple of hours, but then started a mass hysteria. Many people have started spreading rumors about there being a virus in the launcher, which just makes no sense. The best argument I can think of is why would someone literally spend months on building a system for making the old games run, sell it, but also put a virus into the files? Very simple, actually. So you can get money while also stealing other people's information. Bad people exist. <laughs> All right, they exist. And because seeing people say how they are so desperate for the old star stable, yeah, bad people exist. Bad people can abuse desperate people. It's a thing. This argument, invalid, stupid, onward. The reality is that programs such as game mods, cheats, custom launches, etc. usually trigger some antivirus detection. Absolutely. Just like Alicia Online or that one cheat for star stable. People share screenshots from virus total that shows some avs detecting it and scream it has 27 viruses look my point being the last two days have made me so disgusted by the community that i don't even want to work on the project anymore good leave um the game server will be up for at least the next 40 days so you have a chance to scam more people okay i don't want to kick out the people who have paid and are actually enjoying it because you want to make yourself look good some completed up to 300 quests in just a day i won't talk to people on Discord for the next couple of days. It kills my brain cells. You have some. Which, in the next 40 days, I will decide on if I want to continue doing this project or switch projects to have fun again. To the people saying your server will be taken down by SSO, it just doesn't work like that. Thank you for all your support. It means a lot. The last part of that statement is why I very much do not like this person. The fact that you seem to not understand law, copyright law, using another company's IP, they can sue you. I'm not saying they will. I don't know what legal action Star Stable is looking into or if they will do something, but they absolutely could. You are stealing from them. You are stealing their revenue. You are stealing profit from a company and you don't own the IP. 
Alex does not own the IP of Alicia Online, and he has never claimed that he does. He has made it, as well as the other volunteers of his team have made it very apparent. They do not own the IP of Alicia Online, and they are not making money off of running the server. Again, everything that Alex is putting towards the server is from his own pocket. Now, the other volunteers might be helping put money into the server. I don't know. I could see that being a possibility if Alex can't do it on his own. But it very much is out of their own pocket. You cannot pay to play Alicia online because of legal reasons, because of legal issues. You are asking people to put money towards Star Coins and Star Rider to give them something that they are desperate for. It is wrong. Morally, it is also wrong, but wrong. I will end this video with my personal thoughts and a sad warning to others. The old star stable, older players know and love, will not be returning. Bear with me before you run to the comments. Maybe a day will come where Star Stable Entertainment can pull in some resources and release a texture pack or the old game with the old graphics or something like that. It has happened before in other communities. I don't want to rule out the possibility just yet, but it wouldn't make them money. Nowhere near as much as the main game does. Let me explain. The only players who want the old game back are already existing older players who are a minority in this community and are not Star Stable's focus point. In order to make something like this work, they would have to sell the texture pack as a DLC for people, but then they would have to keep pumping out content for it to keep it interesting for players. And that is something they don't have. Apparently, after the boom of COVID, they have fired a lot of their staff. They are down to 130 staff now, which is something that has happened across the board with multiple companies after COVID. They do not have the money to keep servers up for an older version of the game, let alone staff to keep making content for the game. And I know people will say, well, we just want the graphics. We don't have to have the story or anything. In the words of our darling scam artist here, that isn't how it works. In the eyes of a company, if they can make money off of you, they will. Keeping a server up for the older version of the game to keep it separate from the new version, but not get any money of it from the said server, is a bad business move. Star Stable's best option would be to allow a safe download to the old Seasonal Riders games on their website and the Starshine Legacy games. A history of Star Stable, if it were, on their website, where players can get the old games for nostalgia's sake, so it's all nice and organized on their website, and players don't have to scour the internet for it. If the day came where they could make a texture pack for people, I say sell it for about 30 or 40 bucks, but that is nowhere near enough revenue for the effort they have to put in to keep the server up and running and the content they would have to start adding into it later. For now, Old Star Stable is gone. I won't tell you to move on, that's cruel, but you do need to accept it. It is sad to see people falling for an obvious scam like this because you're so desperate. I'm not blaming you. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug. If you have money for this and truly were scammed, let that be a mistake that you can learn from and reflect on it. As for my personal thoughts, this should never have happened. Star Stable did make a statement. They have been made aware of the situation. Hopefully something will come of this and justice is served. If you downloaded the software, I'm sure people will suggest things in the comments on how to keep yourself safe, but for now, change all of your passwords. Maybe factory restart your computer. I don't know. But also warn other people politely that this software is dangerous and I wouldn't gamble with your personal information. Not to mention kids who might have seen this and thought it would be a neat or trendy thing to be a part of. They're now in danger. If you downloaded Star Stable from the official website, you are safe. You have no reason to be scared or worried. I will leave the official website in my FAQ from now on, as well as the official website for the Starshine Legacy games. Hopefully, if you were scammed, you... I can't tell you you're going to get your money back, because you definitely aren't. But you can take this and learn with it. For now, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. If I did get something wrong, or there's something that you want to add, or you feel needs to be added please feel free and safe to do so in the comments. The more information people do have it about this, the better. This should have never been a thing. This should have never happened. For now, hopefully this was informative, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!